action. Good morning. We are group four, and we are today going to perform a play titled Two Loaves of Bread. I am Jay, the narrator. I am English, playing as Blubberger. I am Sitchi, I am playing as the man. I am Ivy, playing as Galton. I am Tibia, and I am playing as a woman. I am Shohada, and I am playing as Mrs. Green, Mrs. Green's friend. I am Ramina, and I am playing as Miss Martha. I am Alicia, and I am playing as Miss Annie Green. Happy to start now. Inside the baker's shop, Miss Martha is standing behind the counter, talking to her friend Mrs. Annie Green. He comes in two or three times a week, and he always buys stale bread. Stale bread? Always stale bread, never fresh bread. Of course, fresh bread is five cents more, though, and stale bread is five cents for two dollars. And you think he's broke? Oh yes, he is, Annie. One day, I saw him bread and rub him with his fingers. His finger, I said to myself. Well, we all know that painters are often very poor, but can you be sure he's a painter? Just because he has paint on his fingers. I'll put this painting on my wall. If he's a painter, he'll see and say something about it. Very clever, Martha. But tell me, are you little in love with this man? Well, perhaps a little. In the shop the next day, the painting is now on the wall behind the counter. Miss Martha is putting some bread and some cakes into a man's bag. He gives her some money, then goes out of the shop. Mr. Blumberger comes into the shop. His clothes are poor but tidy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She puts two loaves of bread into paper bags. While she is doing this, Blumberger is looking at the picture on the wall. That is a fine picture. Is it? I do love. Paintings. Is it a good picture, do you think? The color is good, but the lines are right. He takes the bread and leaves the shop. I see this. Mr. Mr. Annie Green enters with a friend. Is that him? Yes. You know that's the man I was telling you about him? Did he see the painting? Yes, he did. He knew at once that it was a good painting. Oh, what kind of eyes he's got. You want to marry him? And he won't eat still bread. Yes, he must be very poor. Oh, I do want to help him. He probably lives in some poor room somewhere. But if he marry you, he can come and live here over the shop with you. Stop dreaming, Martha. What's wrong with me? Sometimes it does come true. That's right, they do. Two days later, a man and a woman are in the shop. The woman is looking at the cakes, trying to decide what to have. Miss Mata is putting some butter into a bag for the man. She is now wearing her best clothes, and her hair looks different. Thank you, good morning. Now, what cake shall I have? She stops speaking as Blumberger comes into the shop. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. We hear an ambulance going past outside. Blumberger and the woman both go to the shop door to look out. Miss Mata quickly cuts into each of the steel loaves and puts some butter in them. She puts the loaf into paper bags. Blumberger and the woman come back to the counter. Blumberger pays Miss Mata. The woman goes back to look at the cake. Thank you. Good Later that day, Miss Mata is in the shop with Mrs. Green. So what did you do? I put some butter into the bread. He didn't see me across. I had to be very quick. He was busy watching the ambulance outside. How kind you are, Martha. I couldn't let him eat only steal bread at least. He needs some good food. Poor oh, man. Not if he's hungry, but 
but I must go. I'll see you tomorrow, Martha. Goodbye. Mrs. Green leaves the shop. Martha begins moving one or two things, making the shop tidy. Then she sits down behind the counter and starts, starts to read the book. Suddenly, the door opens and Blumberger and Kelton come in. Blumberger is angry, but Kelton is trying to hold you back. You're stupid! You're stupid! You know what you've done? You ruined my work! Wait, don't go, go. Come on, let's see. Kelton puts Blumberger out of the shop. After a minute, Kelton come back, comes back again. What is wrong with you? Kelton turns and leaves the shop. Miss Martha puts her head into her hands and starts to cry. Yeah.